Hello, welcome anyone tuning in to today's video tour. Uh, today is August 26th of 2019 and uh, I'm out of Central Park. I am uh, just uh, south of it in the neighborhood called Midtown Manhattan. And today we're here to take a look at a temporary art exhibit that's been put up on display in front of one of the buildings along 6th Avenue. 6th Avenue in New York is also called Avenue of the Americas. The most popular icon in this neighborhood, or one of the most popular, is Radio City Music Hall. Radio City Music Hall, you can see it just uh, uh, two blocks south from where I'm standing. I'm actually standing on the uh, southwest corner of 6th Avenue and 52nd Street. Now, this is an exhibit that consists of 10 sculptures depicting a contemporary women. I don't know exactly for how long this exhibit will be here, but there's a lot going to, uh, into it and we're gonna get close to the subjects, to the themes depicted in these works of art and talk about what the artists are trying to achieve. And I'm uh, in the northern end of the exhibit. The exhibit actually stretches down towards 51st Street and some of these women, some of you might be familiar with. For example, the first figure that we encounter is of a woman named Tracy Caldwell Dyson. She is one of the most prominent women in the United States Space Agency, or NASA. Tracy Caldwell Dyson is an American chemist and astronaut selected by NASA following her groundbreaking research into molecular level surface re reactivity. Women that obviously did it have done incredible things. Women that to this day continue to work and expand on their fields, which is something very unique because New York is a city of art. In my previous productions, you've seen how a public art is used to transform a space and to communicate very specific ideas. But it's not a city where you find a lot of sculptures of women historical figures. And these artists, what they're doing is basically trying to shift this. And in this particular presentation of Tracy, we see her uh, dressed in an astronaut suit. And she is standing on top of a flower, which is a very unique and delicate detail to these sculptures. Let's actually walk in the round as well. Look around them to let's see. How these works are composed. It's very exciting. If you are in New York uh, this time of year, if you'll be visiting sometime soon, look up because in all probability this will be here for a couple of months. Usually temporary exhibits uh, are here for months at a time. Now we're moving away from Tracy a little bit over here. We have about uh, 10 figures to cover. This one here is of an icon that you probably already know and you might have seen before. From this vantage point, you might not be able to tell who she is, but once we turn to the front, you will be able to pick up on the semblance of this uh, figure. If you guessed Oprah Winfrey, you are correct. She is recognizable across the world. She's a global media leader, philanthropist, producer, actress, author, and the world's first black female billionaire. She has created an unparalleled connection with people around the world, making her one of the most respected and admired figures today. Oprah Winfrey is also right in front of the UBS building. The UBS building is building number 1285 on 6th Avenue or Avenue of the Americas. Just like Tracy, Oprah is also standing on top of a flower very unique and special detail to this particular city. We are moving along. Here we now have on focus Terere Trent. I could be pronouncing this name wrong. If I am, uh, please correct me or I apologize in advance. This woman on display here is a humanitarian, scholar, educator and author. She is one of the world's most internationally recognized voices for equality, for equal education in women and women empowerment. A prominent activist for equal rights to education, Trent's contribution to this cause was born from her own fight against adversity. Yes, this is an incredible figure. I was reading up a little bit on her and what I was coming across uh, was incredibly uh, particular. Just like Oprah and like Tracy, she is standing on top.
Abo Fa flower as well. This one's a little bit more peculiar for you to just see the petals themselves. And there's also uh, the literature uh, right next to the sculptures themselves, which I think is a good idea, even if I don't read it, just to have it on focus. If you want, you can uh, pause the video and hopefully you'll be able to read and make up what uh, this extra information here in the case. For the sake of our tour today, we will uh, do a, a summary in a sense and it's possible that we could potentially come back depending on their response and the feedback that people give. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. This is a groundbreaking exhibit. Basically, they raise the percentage of statues in public spaces in New York City from a mere 3% to 10%. There's only five sculptures of real historical women on display in public spaces in New York now. We are moving along next to a figure that in all probability you recognize. This is the iconic Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, as many of you know, is a very popular Australian-American actress and here she is in full display larger than life wearing a beautiful dress and on top of again another flower i wish i could tell you what type of flower these are and i'm sure that there's record and information out there that indicates what each of these are nicole also has a plaque right next to her this plaque reads let me try to focus it over here loved around the world for her roles in films such as moulin rouge the Hours, Lion, and the highly acclaimed television series Big Little Lies, Australian-American actress Nicole Kidman is one of the most adored and respected people in Hollywood with her films grossing more than 3.9 billion worldwide. We're talking about women who are basically powerhouses. Oprah Winfrey is worth over, I think, $2 billion or something like that. And Nicole Kidman, with her work, she has helped generate over $3.9 billion worldwide in a very popular and strong industry, the entertainment industry. That's Nicole. Let's take a look at Nicole uh, in the round as well. Beautiful details to these sculptures and the way that different uh, textures are uh, emphasized or created. Reference is, is very unique as well. Look at the way that she's holding her dress over here. It's very, very cool. And from the back, this is the view where she's kind of like taking a sort of, or like just being on display, it's almost, almost as if someone is taking a photo of her on a red carpet. To the left down there is the three figures that we've already discussed. This is again uh, 52nd Street and looking to the right, this is looking south. We have a couple more figures to go. This back over here is a figure that I do not recognize just yet, but once we get to the front, we see her, we see her face. Wow, big hair doing in this one, very, very cool. Her name is Janet Mock. She's a New York Times best-selling author, American writer, producer, director, advocate for trans rights, and the founder of Hashtag Girls Like Us, a social media project that empowers trans women. Janet gained prominence as a contributing editor for Mary Claire and for her inspirational memoirs, the redefining realness and surpassing a certainty. If we look at the literature over here on the on display, this is where I'm getting this information from. And then there's a display over here, a couple of flies that have information on the artists themselves and a little bit on the project itself. Julie and Mark are the artists, they are from Australia, they are husband and wife, and in the media they are known as the world's most loving artists. They, they have a public works of art in cities all over the world, over 40 cities all over the world have on display their works of art including London, Singapore, Shanghai, Sydney, and Beijing, and New York as well. In fact, a couple of months ago, I think, or last year, I did a video of a work they had on display right here in Midtown. I'll include it on, the, on this video's description. So that's Jillian Mark. Those are the artists. Uh, and uh, the project itself, this particular uh, sculptural project, is called Statues for Equality. That's the hashtag right there. 
statutory quality aimed to balance gender representation in public art and honor women's contributions to society. By reserving 10 important spots for the exhibition, RXR Realty is showing admirable support for equal rights. Gender inequality is among the most critical issues facing Americans today. With so few statues in New York City depicting real women, the disparity in public art illustrates how serious this issue really is. In response to this, artist Gillian Markov teamed up with some of the world's most powerful women to take a stand for equal rights through statues for equality. Sculptures inspire, and this is very true, they illustrate history and they express stories of achievement that motivate generations. With the installation of these 10 larger than life bronze sculptures of inspirational women living today, the number of historical female sculptures in New York City has risen from a mere 3% to over 10%. Wow, very, very cool and powerful information. Now this figure here, it's, I believe, uh, what I believe to be the youngest figure represented. This is a figure of Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas is a very popular athlete and uh, she was born in 1995. Here she is in her gymnast uh, suit. In a pose that echoes that pose that athletes, uh, gymnasts get into after they've completed the particular uh, Gabby Douglas is a three times Olympic gold medalist, American artistic gymnast, noted for her trailblazing performances in individual, all around, and team competitions. In 2012, she was named Female Athlete of the Year for her, land, for her landmark sporting achievements. So we've seen women in, uh, in the entertainment industry, women in the uh, sports industry, women in business, women who are worth billions, women, women who have been to outer space. Already in just less than 10 statues that we've seen, and we've seen incredible di variety and diversity that is for sure going to inspire a lot, a lot of people. This is Gabby Douglas, and moving next, so then moving to the next statue, we see on display Cheryl Strayed. Uh, I could be pronouncing this name completely wrong. It's interesting how the arms are positioned. For, uh, this is a figure that I uh, haven't necessarily encountered before, or at least I don't think I have a Cheryl Strayed. And the flag that we have over here tells us that she is a novelist, essayist, and mem memoirist. She's an author whose books have been published in more than 30 languages. Stray's memoir, Wild, From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail, chronicles her 1,100 mile solo hike on the Pacific Crest Trail, which she embarked on after losing her mother to cancer. Wow, stories, incredible stories of what has inspired some of these people here. And out of all the flowers of, on which these cultures are on top of, this is the only one that I recognize. This from the looks of it is a sunflower. Gabby Douglas is standing on another uh, flower, but I do not know what particular flower Gabby Douglas is standing on. But going back to Cheryl here. Wild. Uh, the book that she published, Wild, reached number one on the New York Times bestseller, bestsellers list and was adapted into an Oscar-nominated film starring Reese Witherspoon. Stray's book, Tiny Beautiful Things, a collection of her popular Dear Sugar columns, has influenced the well-being of untold readers around the world and spawned her top-rated Dear Sugar's podcast. So these are individuals that are still active, that are still here that are still working and have done incredible things and traveled incredible distances. In Gabby Street, this is what we get. As we move down, we get to another figure. This figure is of, a, of an icon that many of you might recognize, many of you might have heard before. This is a very popular artist. Hey. There she is, standing in a triumphant position with both hands raised. She's holding a microphone as well. The 
plaque in front of it reads uh, 21st Century Pop Idol Pink is a three-time Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter who has released seven uh, studio albums, had 15 uh, top 10 singles, sold over 50 million albums worldwide and sold out tours all over the world, making her one of the most widely respected and popular musicians across the world. So just love the variety of figures. Uh, the, from entertainers to actors to people in business, people in education, and uh, also uh, other careers as well. This is just 10 sculptures of very powerful and influential women. And again, this brings the number of statues in New York to 10%, from 3% to 10%. So behind the, the pink sculpture, Nicely framed with uh, Radio City Music Hall in the background. Today happens to be a beautiful day in New York. We've been having a very warm summer this year, but uh, these days the temperature is actually quite nice and it's very pleasant to stroll and walk about. And this is very special to be in a place where traditionally what you see as a traditional art is Rockefeller Center across the street has beautiful art just under those American flags. There are beautiful reliefs and with this exhibit now, there is opportunity for uh, new visions to emerge and new inspiration. This figure, the back of this figure here, I do not know who the figure is, but once we move to the front, we'll be able to tell. And again, another interesting flower. So far, unfortunately, I've only been able to recognize the, uh, the sunflower. Now, this is another very popular actress. I apologize for the camera moving in that regard. This is, uh, oh, also Australian-American, Kate Blanchett. The literature that we have here is uh, Kate Blanchett is an internationally acclaimed and award-winning actress, producer, humanitarian, and dedicated member of the arts community. We have some literature. The plaque over here reads, uh, reads more tells us about her accomplishments and her work. Blanchett is equally accomplished and celebrated on the stage, having led the Sydney Theatre Company as co-artistic director and CEO for six years alongside Andrew Upton. People that in addition to their roles uh, in the movies that we see them, in the programs that we see them, go above and beyond in the sense that they organize for the work that they do to keep expanding and also work in other fields to expand uh, as well, inspiring generations of people to keep on shaping the reality that we desire, not the one that we have. Now, the last sculpture here, already we see nine sculptures, the uh Jane uh, Rudolph. And the figure, as we see, is standing on top of uh, what appears to be leaves. I don't even know if this is a flower, but if you look closely, this is uh, Jane Guru. All of the sculptures at the base, at the pedestal, this space over here has have the name of the individual. There's Jane. Uh, the flag right next to her reads, Jane, perhaps the world's most noted uh, conservationist. Dame uh, Jane Morris Guru is an English primatologist, anthropologist, and the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. Founder of the Jane Goodall Institute, Goodall is well regarded as regarded for the many decades of study she has done on social and family interactions of wild chimpanzees. So this is someone that has given us a glimpse into the lives and habits of those very valuable creatures that we have uh, in, uh, in different places in different parts of the world. Unheard of at the time, Guru began her solo study of endangered chimps in 1960 in Tanzania. Despite having no collegiate training during this, doing this resulted in Guru observing the chimps in a subversive manner, publishing revolutionary findings, and becoming the only human to be accepted into the chimpanzee society. Wow, this woman has been is accepted into the chimpanzee society. That is incredibly amazing. I think that's the most amazing thing uh, I found out of all these uh, ten sculptures. Wow. 
Her honors include the Benjamin Franklin Medal of Life and Science, the Tyler Pla Prize for Environmental Achievement, and Japan's prestigious Kyoto Prize. Gurul is also a UN Messenger for Peace and an animal rights activist. In Statues for Equality, Guru is depicted in a thicket of forest foliage as a representation of her hands-on hands approach to research. Forest foliage plants rely on each other to survive, uh, symbolizing how we must work together to protect endangered animals. Well, very interesting. So the flowers, which I thought were mere decorations, and again, I'm sure we can find more information about them. It's a symbol, in this particular context, in Jane, it's a symbol for how we must work together to protect endangered animals. Forest foliage plants rely on each other to survive. Wow, let that sink in for a little bit. Forest foliage plants rely on each other to survive. Plants rely on each other to survive. I mean, that's a very powerful message to us. This is Jane, once again. The last of the sculptures depicted here, the others are just down or really up here all the way up to 52nd Street. If you tuned in or are tuning in, um, just uh, try and look at this in its context. Uh, maybe go back to the beginning if you are watching on YouTube. I know that this is a different format for video recording. It's being filmed. Uh, on Facebook Live, which I think is a special feed for it basically shows and encapsulates this moment in time right here, right now. And the visions that we have around us are temporary visions, as this exhibit won't be here forever. But uh, they're also, in a sense, uh, and sometimes we could potentially uh, see works of art that will be here for time immemorial. If you like these uh, video tour presentations, share them and uh, keep connected. I'll be trying to go as live as many times as I possibly can, preferably once a day or every other day. So to keep adding to this uh, video presentation so that we can keep learning about the art that is on exhibit in the public spaces of this amazing city. I can already see uh, two potential video tours just across the street there. On that other building we have those green figures and across the street to the other side the diagonally from where i am i see that on the corner there's another very interesting sculpture and just south of us is rockefeller center they're always putting up exhibits up there and uh, it's just uh, always something to see something to do and something that has a very powerful and profound effect this is again nicole kidman terror eye trend as I get closer to Terror Eye again, I want to uh, just uh, take a look at the plaque over there so that we can kind of like just put this in context and just have a record of these plaques as well with the information that they communicate. Let me just uh, focus for a brief moment here on Oprah Winfrey once again. There's Oprah and here's her plaque. Recognizable actors across the world, the global media leader, philanthropist. I already went over this one a little bit. Let me just go back to Sarah. And I'm doing this so that anyone who is potentially interested could uh, could pause the video and potentially read this. I don't know how well the footage is gonna come out once uploaded to those other platforms, but hopefully it'll be readable enough. Tracy Caldwell Dyson, one of the most popular or really accomplished female astronauts out there today. Today is a very special day. Today, August 26 of 2019, is the anniversary when uh, the 20th Amendment went into effect. The 20th Amendment allowed women the right to vote, and today we are celebrating 99 years of that incredible accomplishment. 
Now, next year will be the 100th anniversary, and next year, Central Park, where I spend most of my time these days, is going to have a new sculpture dedicated. It's going to be a sculpture between Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cary Stanton. Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cary Stanton, and the Sojourney Truth, Sojourney Truth, Black American activist. So a total of three female figures are coming up to be installed in Central Park in 2020. As, again, as America celebrates 100 years of women's suffrage. If you like this video, please share and again, uh, keep connected. I particularly just allow for that bus to pass by. But particularly like this view over here with the work of art that is on display in the lobby of this building. This is, by the way, the UBS building. <laughs> Many of the buildings here are, are corporate spaces, very, very tall buildings. Rockefeller Center is in the vicinity. This is really the busiest section of uh, New York. And on a beautiful day like today, we have this beautiful creative display just enhancing the visuals that we get to experience in this very popular and busy section of New York City. I'm gonna leave you with one last shot. This is looking south. This is now looking towards the UBS building. Looking at the display, statues for equality. It's coming towards the center, where almost directly in front of us over here, we have Gabby Douglas, Janet Mock, Nicole Kidman, Tara Rai, Oprah Winfrey, and Tracy the Astronaut. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.